Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we have uh, some parametric equations, and we're going to sketch the graph of the equations, indicate the orientation of the graph, and write the equations in rectangular form. Let's start by writing them in rectangular form, so solution. So to write it in rectangular form, we'll, we'll start by rewriting what we have. So we have x equals 2 cosine t, and then y equals 3 sine t. And what you can do is you can solve for the trig functions. So we'll divide both sides here by 2. So we get cosine t equals x over 2. Then here we could divide both sides by 3. And so we get sine t equals y over 3. Then we can use uh, one of the most famous trig identities uh, there is. Cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. But cosine t is x over 2. So when you square this, you're just going to get x squared over 4. Plus, sine t is y over 3. So when you square that, you'll get y squared over 9. And that's equal to 1. So this is the graph, uh, the equation rather, of an ellipse. In an ellipse, a is always bigger than b. So a here is the square root of 9, which is 3. a is always the square root of the bigger number in an ellipse. b is the square root of 4, which is 2. Because the bigger number is under the y, you see the bigger number is under the y, the major axis is vertical. That means that from the center of this ellipse, which is 0, 0, so the center here is 0, 0. So from the center of this ellipse, we're going to go up and down by a because the major axis is vertical. If the bigger number had been under the x, then we would go left and right by a. All right, so I'll go ahead and do the graph um, over here on the right. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. So x, y, good stuff. And the graph is going to look uh, like this. We start at 0, 0. And we said the major axis is vertical, so we're going to go up and down by a. So up and down by 3. So 1, 2, 3, put a dot. 1, 2, 3, put a dot. And then left and right by 2. So 1, 2, put a dot. 1, 2, put a dot. Again, if the bigger number was under the uh, x, like if, 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 the nine was, if there was a 9 here instead of a 4, then we would go left and right by 3. That's, that's key. And we just connect the dots. So we have uh, almost two, we have two answers down, right? This is one answer. This is rectangular form. So I'll put rect form. We have the graph. Okay, we have the graph. Now we just need to indicate the orientation. So to indicate the orientation, you can use your calculator. That's an easy way to do it. Uh, and you can change, what you do is you put it in parametric and you change the step. You make it like really, really small. You change your t step to like 0.01. Uh, but I don't have a calculator with me, so let's do it by hand. So to do it by hand, you plot points in, in increasing values of t. So here's, here's t, here's x, and here's y. And we have a circle, so we're going to need three points, because if you just get a point here and a point here, well, we have, rather, we have an ellipse, so we need three points. If I have a point here and a point here, you know, did I go this way or did I go this way? So you need three points to figure out the orientation. So easy numbers we can plug into this. Let's see, how about 0, um, pi over 2, and pi. Those are easy numbers. So if you plug in 0 here, let's see, you're going to get x equals 2 times cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, so you get 2. And y equals 3 times sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So when t is 0, you get x equals 2 and y equals 0, so you get 2, 0. When t is pi over 2, I'll do it down here, running out of room. When t is pi over 2, we get x equals 2 cosine pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. And then y equals 3 sine pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you just get 3. So we get 0, 3. And last but not least, when t is equal to pi, we get x equals 2 cosine pi. Cosine pi is negative 1, so we get negative 2. 
and then sine pi is zero, so we get zero. Did that really, really fast, just rushing through it, sorry. So recap, so you plug in zero, and you get your x and your y. So we got two and zero. You plug in pi over two, you get your x and your y. So we got zero, three, and you plug in pi, and you get your x and your y. We got negative two, zero. It's very tedious. So we have three points. So first we're at two comma zero, so first we're here, okay. Then we're at 0, 3, so then we're up here. And then we're at negative 2, 0, so then we're here. So it looks like the orientation is counterclockwise. So these arrows here indicate the orientation. That's it. I hope this video uh, was helpful to someone out there. Thanks for watching.